Recently, the App Store has stopped working completely, even with the App Store fix and everything. And the reason for this is very convoluted, and I'm mainly just putting this video in the form from a guy from Reddit that had the uh, the I made an effort post on uh, the Legacy Jailbreaks up about this. And uh, anyway, he put in a guide on how you can actually make it work again, and I'm going to be showing you how to do that today. But I do highly recommend you go check out this Reddit post if you want to know exactly why it stopped working. But it was something to do with certificates and just like a, yeah, and just uh, in short terms. But I recommend you go check that out. I'll link that in the description. And let's, let me show you how you can fix it again. Of course, if you already have some of this stuff installed and you've already tried to fix it before and you've used my old guide, well, you can leave some of that stuff on there, but I'll show you what you got to delete as well. So meet my uh, iOS 6 5 fourth gen, by the way. So you wanna go open up City, of course. You need to be jailbroken for this, and uh, you're gonna go. Um, If you have this thing called iTunes Store X installed already, which you should find under the I category, uninstall that immediately. That no longer works, and it kind of just hinders you from doing stuff, so yeah. So anyway, what you're going to do is you're going to go to this site right here, tlsroot.litten.ca slash, and you're going to go and hit the unsigned iOS bundle. I happen to have it installed already, but I think there might be some updates to it, so I'm just going to hit install anyway. So hit, of course, you'll just hit install now, and uh, now you're good to go for that part. And now let's move to City. So you're going to add a couple repos here. You're going to add... The, this repo right here, aoiblog.jp slash. Of course, I will link all of these in the description. Actually, you're gonna get the Nekokawa repo right here, um, which is sidia.nekokawa.net slash. And then next one you're going to get is the IPG Sidia repo, which is sidia.invoxyplaygames.uk slash. So, um, once you've added all of these repos, the first, you're gonna do a continue queuing thing every time you click on one. So first one we're gonna go into is from the IPG repo aka Invox to Play Games' is repo. You're just gonna go here and you probably see modify, install, con instead of that you do continue queuing. And then the next one you're gonna queue up is the one from the AOI repo app store fix. And you're going to queue this one up as well. And uh, the last one that I would recommend is store SSL fix from the Nekokawa repo, of course. And you're gonna hit continue queuing as well. Sometimes it may bug out and it might not literally, it might just look like the iOS 5 one. And sometimes it will work when you hit store layouts fix. Um, I recommend to install this anyway and sometimes it just will look like the iOS 5 one anyway. There's nothing you can really do about it. The only thing, the sad thing about this is this is a only a partial fix anyway. So once you have all of these installed, you may notice one thing upon um, installing um, to open setup. and. Do not fret if you are an A5 or A6. If you want to be extra safe, you can connect to a computer and, uh, uh, because this is going to open up the uh, setup again so you can put in your iCloud and everything. So, um, just if you want to, which I would probably recommend anyway, I did it because I feel like I needed to, um, just go in into Legacy iOS Kit and save your activation tickets if you want to be completely safe that you don't go into an activation loop after you do this even though it should stay activated even though it's opening up the setup to add your iCloud back in and I'll put me uh, doing this in there as well so this is where you uh, open up the setup screen after this I'm on a 1406.1.3 so I technically shouldn't be looping or anything like that I do have tickets saved so here we're gonna sign in with Apple ID. Also, make sure I've shown this, I'm gonna show this to you anyway. You sign out your iPad ID, so you sign in with yours now. And it will probably, of course, will probably most likely will prompt you to um, put in a, act, a verification code. These are just add it to the other passwords. So let me go through that. Yeah, I might throw it on the second one, I'm not sure. Also, it'll probably loop back afterwards, and it'll take you back to another iCloud screen. You're already activated, so hopefully, if you're on an A5 or A6, you can get past this. And I just did, so I, and I'm on a 9900 um, MEI number for an iPad 4th gen, so I got past it perfectly fine, and the App Store should now work. I'm going to... I'm recording this earlier as I'm doing testing right now, and I'm going to add the other parts to the video, basically. So, after you have all of that set up, what will it look like? 
it just looks like iOS 5. I'm not completely sure. Maybe mine's just bugging on me, but it just looks like iOS 5. I'm not really sure why it looks like iOS 5. Um, so, and to be honest, I would not want to use this because sometimes when you're trying to install something, it just will not install at all. So if you're trying to install something and it doesn't work, um, just go use Viteris. Um, like let's, it just prompts you to put in your Apple, your Apple ID passcode and then you put it in and it just says you can't connect to the iTunes store. I'm not sure why it does this. You can always hit retry, but it just brings you back here and it just doesn't work. So just, I just want to use this. <laughs> it's not going to suffice as a way to get apps. Even like using iFundbox and siloing that way would probably be more practical to get apps onto this thing. So, um, uh, yeah. The also, the other thing that you can even try also, which would be pretty cool, is you can use, um, you can use, uh, the ups iOS Obscura, uh, app thing if you have app sync install all this will need app sync by the way and it'll come with the terrace when you install that but if some of these apps that you're looking for are not there you can just download it off the ios obscura um dot litten dot ca and of course i will link all of these into the description so only you can download some apps because a lot of these things just don't just don't support downloading older versions even on checkmate store some of them which checkmate store even allows you to get the older uh, versions so it's just not it's not practical but i'm gonna make this video anyway just because i do think it's a little cool thing that you can do to make it work again and uh this doesn't really even work on ios 5 at all um i would not even recommend trying that because it'll probably be even more buggy because it's less supported and um yeah this has been derek with survive legacy make sure to like subscribe share to this someone that might find this helpful and when you subscribe make sure to turn on the notification bell so you're notified when i come out with brand new videos and again this has been Derek for certified legacy and i will see you in the next one bye bye